Hi everyone, Adam here with The Modern Collective with another Tip Tuesday, our weekly blog feature on The Modern Collective blog. Today I want to show you how to create these banners that you see on your screen right now. They're really simple and easy to make in Photoshop using the pen tool. However, a lot of photographers don't even know that the pen tool exists in Photoshop, and if you've seen it in there, you don't know what it does. So today I'm going to take you step by step on creating these banners and giving you a crash course on the pen tool. So, to start off, let me show you where the pen tool is located and the tools we're going to be using in today's tutorial. So the pen tool is in your toolbar. You'll probably see it as this little icon here if you've never used it before. But we are going to be using mostly the add anchor point and the convert point tool today um, to create the banners that you see. And we're also going to be using the direct selection tool which can be found right here um, to change up the banners a little bit and you'll see that in a little while. Uh, but everything we'll be using today is pretty much in this little box right here within Photoshop. We're also going to be using the rectangle tool. I'm sure most of you have probably used that already in designing anything that you've had um, throughout the course of being a photographer. So the rectangle tool is where, where we are going to start. Uh, so select your rectangle tool. Make sure you have a color that you can see on your white background. I'm going to just pull this yellow from this banner up here. And we're going to start over and go step by step and hopefully get to this product here by the end of this tutorial. So let's start by just creating a simple rectangle. I'm just going to click and drag, make sure it's kind of a long skinny rectangle. This is going to be the base for the banners that we're going to create. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag and I have this rectangle here. Um, the next thing we need to do is find the horizontal center of this rectangle itself, or the vertical center rather. So I'm going to click and drag a um, a guide from the top of the ruler down to the middle of this rectangle. So in order to do that we need to select the move tool and we're going to use this little crosshair to determine where that center is. If you're not seeing the ruler at the top simply go up to view and click rulers or you can use the little shortcut key um, command R and that'll activate your rulers if you're not seeing them at the top. So I'm going to click in the middle of this ruler and I'm going to drag a guide down to the bottom or to the very middle of this rectangle and it'll probably snap in there for you. Um, if not, get it nice and close to that middle of the rectangle as you can using that little crosshair in the center. So once I have that in the center where I need it, I'm just going to let go and that created that guide right in the middle of that shape. Okay, so from here we can start adding points in here where we're going to adjust these and create a little banner or a pointed banner um, depending on what we want to do. In order to do that, we need to use the Add Anchor Point tool, and that's going to be found under the Pen tool, and it's going to be the little pen with the plus sign, okay? We're going to use that to add that other anchor point to this rectangle to create our banner. So with that selected, we want to go back over to our rectangle shape. Uh, we want to make sure it's active, and you'll know it's active when you see this little dark border around the edge of your shape here. Um, and we want to add an anchor point exactly where the edge of this rectangle and that guide intersect. And that's going to make sure it's centered on this edge of the shape. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better. And we are going to find exactly where they intersect. And you'll see this little pen icon with the plus sign. And that's saying that it's going to add an anchor point in there. We're going to put the point of that right where those intersect and click once. And that's going to create that little point here that we can adjust. So I want to do the same thing on the other side, so we're keeping it consistent. Now I'm going to go to the edge and find this intersection point of our guide and click once. So again, it created that little point here. Okay, so next we're going to grab this point here with the direct selection tool, and you'll find that over in your toolbar again. Um, it might be under the path selection tool, but we want the direct selection tool, and you'll find it right here. It's a little clear or white arrow um, at the bottom of your toolbar. So with that selected, we're going to go back over to our shape and we're going to select that point that we just created uh, just by clicking on it. You can simply click on it. It's going to change it to a solid black little rectangle or square here. So you'll see on the corners these are unselected and this is a selected point. So with that selected, we want to move this either in for the kind of flag kind of banner or we want to move it out for a pointed kind of corner on the edge of this rectangle. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold the shift key and we're going to use the arrow keys on our keyboard uh, and we're going to tap 
in even increments. So I'm going to do 4 going out or to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And as you see, that makes kind of this um, curve on the edge of that rectangle. We're going to come back to this, but I want to go to the other side and to do, do the exact same thing, except this time we're going to go the other direction. So again, holding shift, we're going to tap four times, one, two, three, four. And that gives us a nice curve on the edge of this rectangle. I'm going to zoom out so you can see that whole thing here. Okay, so we don't really want the curved edge. If you like this, you can use it this way. It's another type of a banner, but I want to make this a solid point. So we need to convert this point here to a true um, corner at the end. So to do that, we need to go back over to the pen tool. We need to go to the very bottom and select the convert point tool. It's kind of the little leaning triangle or the blowing over TP or however you want to describe it. It's at the very bottom. Okay. So with that selected, we're going to go back over to our shape and we're going to hover over that point we created and the point we moved. And you'll see that little convert point tool um, active on there. All you need to do is click once and it's going to give that a nice point on the end. Okay, so let's do that again on the other side. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see that. Again, hover over that point, click once, and it creates that nice little point for you in that banner. Okay, so with that completed, we have our first banner done and we can use this. We could add text to this. Let me do that really quickly. I'm just going to change our color to white. Um, just type, ta -da. if I can type today, there we go. So I have ta-da in there, and we have kind of our first banner. You can use that for a marketing piece. You can add your web address to this and put it on the back of a holiday card or a grad card or a birth announcement. Um, you can do a lot of different things with that. But this time, let's make another one, but let's make it an inverse kind of banner, like a flag here. So since we already have our points made on this, this is really an easy start to that next one. So I'm going to hold Alt and I'm just going to drag a copy of this below. Um, this one, we need to just grab these corners and move them to the inside. So again, you're going to grab your direct selection tool, click that corner, make sure it's solid black on the end. Again, holding shift, we're going to tap the arrow keys and go to the inside. So we're going to go four in. That's going to be back to the rectangle shape, but we want to go four more and create the inverse kind of banner here. Okay, so you could use this shape right here as kind of a pointed arrow if you wanted, but let's make this exactly the same on the other side. So we're going to move this into the left and again four more times to the left. So one, two, three, four, and there you have another banner. Okay, so you could add text to this one again. Um, or you could just leave it like this, use it as a little flag on the edge of your document. Um, I'm just going to change the color. So obviously you can see here it's the solid shape. We just double click it and I'm going to do like a light gray. And there we have another banner. Okay, so let's say we want to mix this up. Rather than having a solid banner like this, let's say we want this to be outlined and transparent in the middle. In order to do that, we want to put a stroke around the edge of this banner all the way around the edge. So to do that, we need to select this layer. I'm going to duplicate this one so we're not working on the same shape. I'm going to select this layer and we're going to go down to our uh, layers palette and select the effects button and click stroke. It's the very bottom one on your menu here. What that's going to do, it's going to open up a few options for us and you can see those here. Um, you have the size of the stroke, so I'm going to just drag this out and you can see that changes the size of the stroke around that shape. You have the position of the stroke. You have three options there. You have outside, which it's doing right now. So that's putting the stroke on the very outside of that shape, and it's going to give it those corners, a rounded corner. Um, we have inside. That's going to maintain the shape and give nice pointed corners. Um, or we have center, which is going to put that evenly spaced on the inside and outside of that shape. I want to keep the corners pointed, so I'm going to choose inside on this shape. So as you can see, we have nice pointed corners, and I want it nice and thick. So that 29, 30 range is going to be perfect. So we have a nice thick shape going around that banner. Here you can also choose the color of that stroke. Um, I'm going to pick kind of like a bluey, greeny color. Click OK. So you can see that 
put that color on that stroke. And you can click OK, we're done with these options. So I just want to summarize though again, you can choose your size, you can choose the position of the stroke, and you can choose color. You can also choose opacity here um, and kind of do a lighter version of that stroke. Uh, but I'm going to keep it at 100% and I'm going to click OK. So rather than having this shape filled as you see here with the gray in the inside and the stroke on the outside, let's make this transparent. So I just want to bring this over on top of here so you can see once it becomes transparent. In order to become transparent, we need to um, take this shape and we need to go into the layers palette with this selected. We need to drag the fill all the way down to zero. So click on the word fill and just drag to the left. That's going to make that whole center of that shape transparent. So as you can see, we have the stroke remaining with the blue, um, but the center of it is transparent over everything we kind of drag over. Okay, so there you have another banner that you can use. You have your solid one with the points outside, you have the solid one with the point inside with a little flag shape, and you have the same thing with just a solid stroke on the outside. So because we use the same increments going in and out, we could even take this banner and put it next to this one and have kind of a stacking effect with this. Um, you could add text to the middle of this. You could do a lot of different things if we want to change this back to kind of an arrow shape where this edge points out. All we have to do is go back to the direct selection tool, um, click on this point here, and just tap one, two, three, four, and there you have kind of your arrow shape again. If you want to make this shorter, rather than taking the move tool and shrinking it, it's going to change your angle. So what we want to do is use the direct selection tool and select all of these three points on the end. And we can just click and hold shift and drag those all the way in. And we have a shorter little arrow there as well. Okay. And again, you can drag that up here and kind of have that as a fun little banner shape that you can use on a marketing piece or something like that. So start to finish, you have the same banners here, kind of a fun way to use the um, pen tool in Photoshop, and it's kind of an overall new technique that you can use throughout your marketing pieces or whatever you would like. So if you like these shapes, don't want to create them yourself, we also are creating these as a freebie for you guys today with today's Tip Tuesday. So head on over to the blog, there'll be a link to download, just enter in your email address and you'll be forwarded over to the download link to get these shapes um, as your free download and to use them within Photoshop. So enjoy those, uh, but we hope you found this tip useful. Start using them on different size shapes, larger rectangles or squares, circles, uh, triangles, and see what you can create using your new tools with the pen tool. So hope you found that useful. Check back next week for another Tip Tuesday. Have a great day.